Let's see, question. Does Jonathan have an opinion on long distance relation for those who have met? Okay. Well, folks, most of you know that my sweetheart, there's a picture of her right there. We met on a dating site. Uh, she emailed me first. She lives in Chicago at the time. And she said she grew up in Los Angeles and she has family here. And so we engaged in a conversation, but I didn't take it too seriously because she lived far away. So, um, so we, you know, exchange phone numbers, we exchange Facebook page, you know, information. We kept in touch for about a year, a couple, because of COVID, you know, sometimes I think we reached out to each other because we were lonely and wanted some attention, but um, she lived too far away for me to consider it. Now she came to Los Angeles twice and like a dick, I blew her off both times. I was going through my own shit at the time each time she came to visit. So it turns out that we began our relationship when I went out to Chicago to, um, to um, officiate a wedding. And we met while I was there and we saw each other two uh, separate times. The first night I flew in and then she joined me at the wedding. And then a few weeks later, she flew out to Los Angeles to spend some time with her daughter and her son and a few other friends because she grew up here. And then we got together for four days. And in these four days, I had a magical experience with this person. And it wasn't just because of the physical component of it. I really began appreciating who this person was, or is, I should say. And we decided that we would commit to exploring a relationship together and what that would look like. So we had a game plan of how we would travel back and forth to one another, and more importantly, how we would take this distance from long to short. And actually, we rather quickly, because we spent we, our first time she came to visit me, we spent four days. The next time she spent 12 days. The next time she spent 18 days, which included a trip to Mexico. I went to visit her for four or five days. I visited her for three weeks. And then we actually chose to move in together. And she moved up. He, she, she loaded up the truck to move to Beverly, so to speak. Uh, we actually now live together. And this is all within six months of physically meeting each other. However, we knew each other for over a year. So it didn't feel like we were total strangers. You know, it's interesting. I'm watching a lot of reality TV. One in particular is Love is Blind as well as Married at First Sight. And one of the interesting facets is that these couples are joining together rather quickly and living together in these dynamics. And why I'm bringing this up is the reality is folks is you don't really get to know someone until you live with them. And when I think of the three other couples that were uh, at the workshop, two of them, they moved in with their partners less than six months of knowing them. I think you really don't get to know another human being until you live with them. And, and interesting enough, we've gotten through our first month, her and I. We're learning our little bit of our differences. Thankfully, we have agreeable personalities. But more importantly, we are fully committed to making this work. So in a long distance relationship, I'm here to say, if two people aren't committed to the idea of living together or some sort of partnership, fully committed to it right from the get-go, it's rather problematic. And it requires a lot of magic fairy dust to hope that it might work out. And that's my opinion on that. So thank you so much for that question. I really appreciate it.